Welcome back, book buddies. Today we are going to read all 24 books from the Hey Dougie calendar. Let's go. Day one, the jam badge. Today the squirrels are playing outside. Dougie is collecting fruit from his garden. What are you going to do with all that, Dougie? asked Betty. The squirrels have a long think. Hmm. 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 What's that around your mouth, Tag? It's the jam I had for breakfast. There's jam. Tag has helped Dougie decide what to do with the fruit. He is going to make jam. Yay, cheer the squirrels. Doggy shows the squirrels how to make jam. Ah, woof. First, you put the fruit in the pot. Then you get a spoon and stir it. While the squirrels listen carefully to Doggy, naughty monkey sneaks up and steals all the fruit. Dougie can't make jam without fruit. What a naughty monkey. Don't worry, Dougie, shout the squirrels. We'll get it back. Naughty monkey, naughty monkey. Naughty monkey carries the fruit up the hill, all the way to the top. The squirrels run after him. Naughty monkey doesn't want the squirrels to catch him. He starts throwing the fruit at them. Watch out, squirrels! The squirrels jump out of the way of the bouncing fruit. Naughty monkey, naughty monkey. Doggy waits at the bottom of the hill. All the fruit comes rolling back to him. Soon there is nothing left for Naughty Monkey to throw. Ah, woof. Naughty Monkey is sad. What will he do now? Don't cry, Naughty Monkey, says Tag. We're making jam. Would you like to help? Naughty Monkey nods. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The squirrels and Naughty Monkey go to find Dougie. Jam time! First, the squirrels put the fruit in the pot. Dougie starts with a pear. Then comes a strawberry, lemon, orange, mango, banana. Dougie gets a spoon and stirs the pot. The fruit turns into icky, sticky jam. When the jam is cooled down, Dougie pours into a jar. The squirrels and Naughty Monkey take a sniff. It smells good. Mmm. The jam is ready. Time for jammy toast, shouts the squirrels, running into the clubhouse. Naughty Monkey follows, nodding his head. Dougie puts the bread into the toaster. When the toast pops out, he spreads it with jam. There's a slice for Tag, Nori, Betty, Happy, Roly, and Naughty Monkey. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your jam badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day two, the glasses badge. The squirrel club are playing football. Dougie gives the ball a big kick. The ball goes all the way to the end of the garden. I'll get it. The ball rolls to Mole. He looks sad. Are you all right, Mole? asks Happy. I'm good at digging and making molehills, says Mole. But as a young mole, I dreamed of being a... Stunt mole! I wanted to go higher and faster than any mole had ever gone before, cries Mole. Why don't you be one now, says Happy. It's too late, says Mole. 
It's never too late to try something new, says Happy. But it's too difficult, says Mole. Everything is fuzzy up here. I can't see. When Happy was little, everything looked fuzzy to him too. Then his mum had an idea. You need glasses. Happy got glasses and everything stopped being fuzzy. If you had glasses, Happy says to Mole, you could be a stud mole. Happy tells the squirrels about Mole. Mole needs glasses, Happy explains. He can't see. Well, um, says Mole, exactly. <sighs> Happy tells the squirrels about Mole. Mole needs glasses, Happy explained. He can't see. Well, um, says Mole, actually, Dougie can help Mole. He's got his glasses badge. Ah, woof. But Mole doesn't need new glasses. He's already has a pair. Why don't you wear them, asks Happy. Because they always fall off my nose when I'm practising my stunts, Mole sighs. Who am I kidding? I'll never be a stunt mole. The squirrels have an idea. Maybe they can fix Mole's glasses so that he stay on his face. Dougie nods. Good idea. Dougie and the squirrels get to work. Mole goes for a lonely walk. Dougie and the squirrels use glue, paint and robots. Mole sits on a fence and thinks about what could have been. Mole's glasses are nearly ready. Dougie puts them on and steps into a testing chamber. Tag presses a button. The wind blows Dougie's ears back, but the glasses stay on. Whoosh! Perfect, says Betty. Let's show Mole. Mole puts on his new glasses. Oh boy! Mole blinks at Dougie. Everything looks so crisp and clear. Ah, uh, woof! No, Dougie, Mole, Mole replies. They don't wobble at all. Now Mole can see properly. He can become a stunt mole. Mole pedals on his bike. There he goes. Mole goes higher and faster than any mole has ever gone before. That was amazing, shout the squirrels. Thanks for fixing my glasses, says Mole. I couldn't have done it without you. Whoosh. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your glasses badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day three. The bubble badge. The squirrels are at the clubhouse, wondering what Dougie has planned for them today. Rowley notices something wobbly float by. Bubbles! Dougie is blowing bubbles. Can we blow bubbles too, Dougie? asks Betty. The squirrels each take a bubble pot. They shake the pots and squeeze the pots, then they blow really hard. Oh, Happy sighs. It doesn't work. Can you show us how to make bubbles, Dougie? asks Betty. Dougie will help the squirrels. He's got his... Bubble badge. Dougie and the squirrels go outside. Making bubbles is easy. All you have to do is dip, lift and blow. Soon there are bubbles everywhere. Nori, Betty, Rolly and Tag blow lots of bubbles. The bubbles float across the garden. Pop! That tickles. Ooh, 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 ooh. Meow! So graceful. So fluid. So... Pop! Tip big co. But not everyone is having fun blowing bubbles. I know, says Happy. I'll use a hula hoop. Bird helps Happy to dip a hula hoop into the bubble pot and lift it out again. Happy makes takes a deep breath. and blows a big bubble. It is beautiful. Wow. Oh no, Happy's big bubble is floating away and it's heading towards Hedgley. Typical. 
It's going to pop, gasps, Tag gasps. Not today. Happy has a plan. Dougie and the squirrel start blowing. The big bubble floats past Headley's prickles. It's going up into the sky, shouts Happy. Dougie and the squirrels watch the big bubble float up and up, all the way to outer space. We've saved it, the squirrels cheer. Hooray! Bubble, bubble, flying high, into the deep and distant sky. Fly thee fast and fly thee high. This is adieu and not goodbye. Well done, squirrels. You've had your bubble badges. Now there's time, just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A doggy hug. The end. Day four, the dancing bug badge. It's a hot, sunny day. Everyone is out in the garden. Roly and Happy are making daisy chains. Tag and Nori are playing football and Betty is reading a book. Dougie is trying out his new lawnmower. Ah, woof. Hold on, what's that noise? Dougie starts to tap his feet. Is someone making music? What are you doing, Dougie? Dougie is dancing. There's something on your head, Dougie, says Tag. Suddenly, a dancing bug pops out of Dougie's hat. That's who was playing tunes. I'm Billy. Billy the dancing bug has a band called Billy and the Sillies. Here is the band now. Howdy, squirrels. Billy and the Sillies are here to play at the Big Bug Ball. Billy stops playing his banjo and checks inside the band's car. Wait a minute, Billy shouts. Where's the rest of our stuff? Uh-oh. Dilly has forgotten the lighting. Hilly has forgotten the refreshments. Gilly has forgotten the stage. And Millie has forgotten the portable toilets. How will the band play at the big, bu big bug ball now? But ev everybody's already coming, says Billy. And we have no stage, no nothing. Oh no! Don't worry, Billy and the sillies. Dougie will help. He's got his dancing bug badge. Dougie gives everyone a job. Tag sorts the lighting. Happy finds refreshments. Rolly and Bessie build the stage. Nori paints the set. The dancing bugs play music while the squirrels work. Yee-haw! It's Dougie's job to mow the grass. He tries to mow in neat straight lines. Mowing the grass isn't easy when you've got a dancing bug. Dougie and the squirrels get everything ready, just in time for the big bug ball. That's hunky-dory, Billy Beans. Here come the crowd. howdy doody do Everyone gathers round the stage. The big bug ball can begin. Yippee! cheer the squirrels. Billy and the sillies start to play, and the crowd start dancing. Step to the left, jump to the beat, clap your hands and shuffle your feet. The band play all night long. The crowd cheer. Thank you, squirrels, says Billy. That was the best dancing bug, big bug ball ever. Bravo, yay, yippee, yahoo! Well done, squirrels. You've earned your... Dancing bug badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A 
doggy hug. The end. Day five, the duck badge. It is a rainy day. Dougie and the squirrels are enjoying the wet weather. Wet weather is good for splashing in puddles. Splish, splash, splosh. Nori is splashing in a very big puddle. When a little duck swims up to say hello. Quack. It rains harder and harder. Soon it is too wet to play outside. Dougie says it's time to go back into the clubhouse. Betty, Tag, Happy, Rolly and Nori run inside. Woof! Dougie and the squirrels aren't the only ones who want to go inside the clubhouse. The little duckling waddles after Nori. And she brings all of her brothers and sisters with her. More and more ducklings enter the clubhouse. They quack and flap around Nori. Mama! Mama! What are the ducklings saying, says Happy. Well, says Betty, they appear to think that Nori is their mummy. Soon there are ducklings popping up all over the clubhouse. How many are there, Nori? Where will they sleep, Nori? What will they eat, Nori? I don't know. I'm not their mummy. Where is their real mummy? asked Rolly. Betty has a brilliant idea. The squirrels should try and find the duckling's real mummy. Dougie can help. He's got his duck badge. First, the squirrels need to do some detective work. What do they know about ducklings? The squirrels think hard. Betty takes notes. Uh, they're yellow. They're small. Next, Dougie shows the squirrels a picture. He thinks that the mummy duck might look like this. Ah, woof. Now the squirrels must think about where they might find the mummy duck. Suddenly, Happy spots a fishbowl. Water, he shouts. Ducks love water. The squirrels decide to take the ducklings to the lake. There is lots of water there. Let's get these ducklings back to their real mummy, cries Nori. Nori leads the way to the lake. Dougie and the squirrels and the ducklings all follow. We're here, calls Nori. She stops at the edge of the lake. The little ducklings jump into the water. They have found their mummy. Mama! The mummy duck is very happy to have her babies home. Goodbye, little ducklings, shout the squirrels. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your duck badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A duggy hug. The end. Day six. The Big Day Out Badge. The squirrels and their parents are waiting for Dougie. They're going on a day trip. Here's Dougie. He's driving a bus. What fun. Beep, beep. So, Dougie, says Nori's dad, I assume you have all the safety forms for this trip. Ah, uh, woof. Of course Dougie has all the safety forms. He's got his Big Day Out badge. Everyone buckle up. The bus sets off. Where are we going? asks Betty. Woof, says Dougie. It's a surprise. The bus is driving past the famous Rainbow Rocks. Are we going here, Dougie? Dougie shakes his head. They are going somewhere much better. The squirrels see some wombats waving outside a wobbly watermill. 
Are we going here, Dougie? asked Tag. No, the boss drives on. The squirrels see King Gallivant looking down from his castle. Are we going here, Dougie? asked Betty. No, the boss drives on. The boss drives past all sorts of amazing places. Dougie drives on a bagpipe bridge. It's not too far now. Are we there yet? The squirrels wave to a friendly monster. Hello! Suddenly, the bridge huffs and puffs, just like bagpipes. The bus bounces off the bridge and back onto the open road. At last, Dougie stops driving. He parks the bus in an empty green field. Nori's dad scratches his head. But Dougie, he says, frowning. You said they were going somewhere special. This is somewhere special. It's Dougie's special picnic spot. Everyone takes a seat. Ah, woof. Dougie turns on his radio. He hands out jam sandwiches and blueberry juice. Dougie makes the best jam sandwiches. Mmm. Dougie's picnic spot is perfect. Betty and her dad even spot some blue-billed beatboxing birds. Wow! The blue-billed beatboxing birds start to boogie to Dougie's music. So Gallivant arrives and so does the monster from Bagpipe Bridge. They want to join the picnic too. Look, says Rolly, there are the wombats from the wobbly water mill. Soon everyone is dancing to Dougie's disco beat. The music gets louder and louder until, click, Dougie switches off the radio. Everyone stops dancing. Woof. It's time to go home now, everyone. Ah, cry the squirrels and their parents. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your big day out badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day seven. The fashion badge. Dougie is repairing his collection of antiques. They have to take special care of things when they are very old. The squirrels look at the antiques. Your clothes are very old, Dougie, says Tag. You've repaired them lots of times. Here, here and here. Hmm, it's been quite a while since Dougie made his outfit. Perhaps it's time for a new one. Dougie makes all his own clothes. He's very aware of new trends. That's why he has his fashion badge. The squirrels want to help Dougie make some new clothes. They show him, he shows them his sewing cupboard. Wow, gasped the squirrels. So colourful, shiny, sparkly. The squirrels pick out ribbons, beads, buttons, bows and fabric. They have lots of ideas. Dougie should wear something fluffy, says Tag. He needs to accessorise, says Nori. Dougie needs lots of pockets, shouts Betty. Now Dougie can help the squirrels turn materials into clothes. They do some choosing, measuring, stitching and sewing. The new clothes are ready. Time for you to try them all on, Dougie, says Betty. The squirrels decide to organise a fashion show. They want everyone to see the clothes they've made. The crowd take their seats. They want to see the new fall, winter, spring, summer Dougie collection. My design is full of sleepiness and fluffiness. I call it pyjamas. Dougie walks along the catwalk. He's wearing the outfit by tag. Wow. 
Betty's outfit is next. Dougie can wear it every day of the year. It's got 365 pockets. This is Dougie's swimwear, says Happy. It's called Splash Splash Splash. Dougie changes into Nori's design. I made him a dance outfit, says Nori. Roly introduces his creation. I made it using everything. Ah, woof. The crowd shout and cheer. They want to see more. Bravo, yippee, yay, hooray, yahoo. There is one new outfit left to see. Huh? Gasped the squirrels. But who made it? Dougie steps forward in his own creation. A smart squirrel club uniform. The crowd go wild. He's redesigned a classic. I love how he's done the badges. It's so well made. Good work, Dougie. Well done, Dougie, and well done, squirrels. You've earned your fashion badges. There's no, now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day eight. The leaf badge. Dougie is in the clubhouse looking after his leaf collection. He's got leaves of all sorts of colours and shapes. Dougie likes collecting leaves. He even has his leaf badge. Wow! But there is one leaf missing from Dougie's collection. Dougie shows the squirrels a picture. The rainbow leaf is extra special leaf. It is very hard to find. Can we help you find it, Dougie? asked the squirrels. What a good idea. Ah, woof. The leaf hunt begins. Dougie and the squirrels march in a line, looking out for leaves. Suddenly, Rolly spots something interesting. Rainbow leaf. Huh? Do you mind? Not a rainbow leaf. Nori waves a stripy leaf in the air. I found one, she shouts. Is this a rainbow leaf, Dougie? Dougie shakes his head. Nori has found a tiger leaf. A tiger leaf is a very good leaf. Dougie sticks it in his nature book. Come on, says Betty. Let's keep looking. The squirrels run off. Soon they come back with another new leaf. Is this a rainbow leaf, Dougie? No, that's a palm leaf. And it's the biggest one Dougie has ever seen. Dougie folds the leaf up carefully and pops it in his nature book. It starts to get windy. Whoosh! A rainbow leaf blows through the air. Just out of reach. Catch it, yells Happy. The squirrels run after the rainbow leaf. They follow it deep into a dark wood. Where did it go? The squirrels hear a spooky spluttering noise. What was that? Maybe it's a monster. Dougie chuckles. There's no such thing as monsters. It's just a no nosy pile of leaves. Oh no, the pile of leaves start to chase Dougie and the squirrels. Maybe it is a monster after all. The pile of leaves chase Dougie and the squirrels out of the dark wood and bounces down a steep hill. All of the leaves fall off. It's not a monster, says Nori. It's Hedgley the Hedgehog. Hedgley unrolls from his ball. I didn't mean to scare you, he says. I was out stretching my legs when I got covered in leaves. But what's that? There's still one leaf stuck to Hedgley's prickles. 
Dougie, gasped the squirrels, is that the rainbow leaf? Dougie picks the leaf up. Yes, it really is the rainbow leaf. Thank you, Hedgley, shout the squirrels. That's quite all right, says Hedgley. Back at the clubhouse, Dougie adds the rainbow leaf to his collection. It looks so pretty. At last, Dougie's collection is complete. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your leaves badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. <gasps> Dougie hug. The end. Day nine, the caterpillar badge. Dougie is working in the clubhouse garden. He has grown lots of fruit and vegetables this year. Ah, woof. The squirrels like helping Dougie outside. Betty and Happy are watering the plants. Nori and Rolly are planting seeds. Tag is picking some spinach leaves. Look, Tag has found a little caterpillar. She is hungry. Tag gives her some lettuce to eat. Here you go, caterpillar. Caterpillar eats up all the lettuce. Munch, munch. Uh-oh, Caterpillar is still hungry. Tag asks Dougie for some pop choy. Thank you. But Caterpillar eats all of that up too. Everyone, calls Tag. I need more greens. The squirrels rush around the garden looking for food for Caterpillar. I've got cabbage leaves. I've got beetroot leaves. I've got spinach leaves. Carrot leaves. Tag gives all the greens to Caterpillar. Caterpillar eats everything. Now the Caterpillar is full, she wants to play. Tag throws sticks for Caterpillar. They run in the field together. Caterpillar laughs at Tag's funny jokes and Tag tickles Caterpillar's tummy. Tag has lots of fun with his new friend. I love you, Caterpillar. Tag takes Caterpillar to meet Dougie and the squirrels. She's cute, cries Betty. Can we play with her? Caterpillar yawns. Her eyes begin to close. I think she's a little tired, says Tag. Maybe we could make a bed for her. The squirrels find some snuggly blankets. They tuck Caterpillar in and she drifts off to sleep. Soon everyone is napping, even Dougie. But when the squirrels wake up, there's something big and shiny in Caterpillar's bed. What is it? Dougie knows he has his Caterpillar badge. It's a cocoon. Where has Caterpillar gone? asks Tag. Suddenly, the cocoon breaks open. An amazing creature flutters into the sky. Caterpillar has changed into a beautiful butterfly. Tag gives her a big hug. Caterpillar. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your Caterpillar badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 10. The island badge. Dougie and the squirrels are sailing on the sea. Sailing on the sea is fun. The waves go up and down. And up and down, and up and down. Oh dear, Tag is feeling seasick. Ugh. Dougie points to an island. They can stop there for a little while. Dougie ties the boat to a rock. The squirrels jump off the boat and run up the beach. Tag likes the island. It's nice and still. Do you feel better now? Yes.
It's time for a spot of lunch. Ducky opens up the picnic basket, basket, but there's nothing inside. He must be left the sandwiches on the boat. Oh no, the boat is floating out to sea. Ducky didn't tie the rope to a rock. He tied it to a crab. Now the squirrel club have stranded. How will they get home? What will they eat? Where will they sleep? Dougie isn't afraid. He has his island badge. He knows what to do. Dougie shares his expert knowledge to help everyone survive. Nori fetches wood for a fire. Roly finds, a, finds big leaves to make shelter. Happy looks for fresh water. Tag collects coconuts for everyone to eat. The island is very mysterious. Betty writes about it in her journal. There are many strange animals here. The pencil snake, the fire cat, and the mischievous boodle monkeys that creep into the camp to steal supplies. With Dougie's help, the squirrels make a new life on the island. They get water from the stream and food from the plants. They even manage to build a house. After a while, Roly finds a pet goat. They call her Tuesday. I love her. But the life on the island is hard. The squirrels are soon fed up with fire cats, brutal monkeys and coconuts. I wish someone would rescue us. Rescue us. Suddenly, the ground rumbles. Dougie and the squirrels are lifted up into the air. The island isn't an island at all. It's a giant turtle called Captain Frank. Captain Frank wants to help the squirrels. He swims to the boat. Hold on tight. Dougie and the squirrels jump aboard. The island adventure has come to an end. Thank you, Captain Frank. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your island badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 11. The making music badge. Dougie is playing a musical instrument. It's called a saxophone. When Dougie blows into the saxophone, a lovely tune comes out. Can we have a go, Dougie? The squirrels stand on top of each other. Betty blows into the saxophone. Nothing happens. It's a bit hard to play, she sighs. Perhaps the squirrels need instruments that are more their size. Dougie can help. He has his making music badge. Ah, woof. Dougie gets out the art supplies and the squirrels gather around. There are lots of things for them to use here. Enid the cat doesn't want to make a musical instrument. She would much rather have a quiet nap. Rody picks out a yellow balloon. What instrument can he make with that? Nori finds some tins and lots of lids. Tag tips some treats into a yogurt pot. Happy fills some bottles up with water. Glug, glug, glug. Betty sticks some stars on a long cardboard tube. The squirrels are ready to make music. What instruments have they made? Drums, plinky plonks, a tubey thing, shakers, a balloon. The squirrels start to play. One, two, three, four, bang, squeal, squeak, squat, pang, blah, 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 blah. The squirrel's music doesn't sound like a tune Dougie played on his saxophone. It's much louder. It wakes up Enid. Her nap is over. Outside the clubhouse, the other animals can hear the squirrel's music too. Clonk, boom, screech, clang. It is so loud that the animals decide to run and hide. 
for all the poor animals. Spider, rabbit, penguin, crocodile, sheep. At last, the squirrels stopped playing. Was that good, Dougie? Dougie thinks the music was very unique. He has an idea. Dougie puts on a special outfit. He wants to help the squirrels play a different tune. He waves his arms and points to the squirrels one at a time. Plink, shake, squeak, squeal. The squirrels start to play together. Bang, bang. The tune sounds different from the one before. The music is good. Cool, man. The animals come out of hiding. The clubhouse rocks to the beat. Before long, the song ends. Hooray for the squirrels. Yay. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your making music badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 12. The Paddling Pool Badge. The sun is shining, but inside the clubhouse, the squirrels are usually quiet. We're so hot. Ah, just in time. Dougie has made cold drinks for everyone. The squirrels help themselves to a glass of cold water. Slurp, 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 bubble. More please, Dougie, says Happy, when he has his glass, when his glass is empty. Lots and lots and lots of water. Dougie smiles. Happy just given him a brilliant idea. Dougie goes into the garden. The paddling pool will help the squirrels stay cool. First, they need to blow up. Dougie tries to pump air into the paddling pool, but nothing happens. The pump is broken, says Nori. Oh dear, how will Dougie blow up the paddling pool now? Dougie feels a tap on the head. Ethel the elephant is here. She can help. Ethel uses her trunk to blow up the paddling pool. Hooray, shouts Happy. Now we can go swimming. Thank you, Ethel. The squirrels put on their swimming costumes. Then they run and jump into the pool. Where is the water, Dougie? The paddling pool is empty. Dougie tries to fill the paddling pool, but the hose isn't working. Where can we get water now? Ethel makes a trumpeting sound. She knows where there's lots of water. <laughs> Ethel leads Dougie and the squirrels down to the lake. There she starts to suck up the water using her trunk. One by one the lake animals appear. They have come to see what's going on. Soon Ethel is so full that she can't suck up any more water. Ethel walks back to the garden. She fills up the padding pool with the water from the lake. The squirrels and the lake animals cheer. It's paddling pool time! Wow! The squirrels and the lake animals jump into the padding pool. Doggy climbs up high into the lifeguard chair. He will make sure everyone is safe in the pool. Doggy has his... Paddling pool badge. He got it for having fun in the pool and for being careful. Dougie blows his whistle. Boop. The squirrels and their friends need to learn a few rules about pool safety. No running near the pool. No acrobatics. No pushing. And no diving. The squirrels and the lake animals laugh and play in the paddling pool. Now they are nice and cool. Dougie has something to give the squirrels. Ah, uh, woof. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your paddling pool badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 13. The circus badge.
It's a new day at Squirrel Club and there's a clown in the clubhouse. Who are you? Are you Dougie's mum? The clown takes off his funny yellow hair. Look at that. The clown is Dougie all along. Ah, woof. Dougie has put up a poster. The circus is coming to town. The squirrels are confused. They have never been to the circus before. What's a circus? The circus is an amazing show in a brilliant big tent. Inside you'll see wonderful things. Trapeze artists, jugglers, acrobats, clowns, magicians and of course stunt moles. Dougie really loves the circus. He's even got his circus badge. Outside, some music starts to play. It gets louder and louder. What's that noise? Time to go, squirrels. The circus has arrived. Dougie and the squirrels rush outside. They look for a brilliant big tent. Where's the circus? There it is. Dougie gasps. It's the tiniest circus he has ever seen. It's a bit small. What's this? A tiny ringmaster has come out of the tent. He takes off his hat. Welcome to Maurice's Magnificent Flea Circus. It's a tiny circus full of tiny fleas. The squirrels can't wait to see the wonderful acts in Ma Maurice's circus. Clap, clap, clap. Hooray! This is amazing, Dougie, says Nori. First, Maurice introduces a daring flea called Miss Fifi. She can walk across a tightrope that is two centimetres in the air. Next comes the world-famous flea cannonball. Look, there it goes. Wee Blob. Now I present to you the strongest flea in the world, cries the ringmaster. Bernard. Bernard picks up Dougie and lifts him high into the air. Amazing, cheer the squirrels. Does anyone else care to volunteer? asks Maurice. Me, 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 me. Maurice's magnificent flea circus is a triumph. Everyone joins in. Abracadabra. Wah, plop. Splat. As the show ends, the sky fills with streamers. What a fabulous flea finale. Maurice and his friends take a bow. Your circus is amazing, says Betty. Thank you, Maurice. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your circus badge. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A Dougie hug. And there's Dougie's red clown nose. The end. Day 14. The mystery badge. Dougie and the squirrels are dressed up in their smartest clothes. They're going to King Tiger's black and white gala. Everyone is very excited. It's a party. Dougie rings the doorbell when they arrive at King Tiger's palace. I say, squirrels, don't you all look marvellous, says King Tiger. Please come in. Suddenly, King Tiger sneezes. Ah, choo! King Tiger is wearing his party crown. It has a ravishing red ruby in the centre and built-in sparklers. Inside the gala is in full swing. But it doesn't look very exciting. Oh, the squirrels sigh. Is this the party? 
Dougie explains that this is what happens at grown-up parties, mingling and conversation. The squirrels try to mingle, but something isn't right. The naughty mice don't want to chat. Choo Choo won't undo her coat. Nigel is hiding behind a pillar. The chef Toucan keeps running into the kitchen. Oh no, shouts King Tiger. His ravishing red ruby has gone missing. Where can it be? It's a mystery. A mystery is a problem that is hard to solve. Luckily, Dougie has his mystery badge. The squirrels will find the red ruby. Ah, woof. First, the squirrels must investigate any suspicious activity. Has anyone at the party been acting strangely? Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Next, the squirrels gather everyone together. A precious jewel has gone missing, says Tag. And the person responsible is in this room. <gasps> everyone gasps. The first suspect is Choo Choo. She's hiding something. But it's not the ruby. Underneath her coat is a colourful party dress. My only crime is looking fabulous. Nigel has also been hiding something himself. He's been playing a game of hide and seek with John. Found you, Nigel. Lots of guests have been acting suspiciously tonight, but someone has acted the most suspiciously. You are in the flat, Chef Toucan. Chef Toucan didn't, doesn't deny it. It's because I forgot to add strawberries to the strawberry trifle, he cries. Suddenly, King Tiger sneezes loudly again. It is the last clue the squirrels need to solve the mystery. Achoo! The squirrels explain. Earlier, King Tiger sneezed and the ruby came loose. Achoo! It flew through, it threw through the jelly landed in the trifle. The squirrels have found the ravishing red ruby. Thank you, trifle for everyone. Well done squirrels, you've earned your mystery badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A Dougie hug. The end. Day 15. The Theatre Badge Dougie and the squirrels are walking in the woods. They are listening out for nature noises. What can you hear, squirrels? Bugs bouncing, birds singing, animals arguing. Wait a minute, animals arguing? That's unusual. Tino, the artistic mouse, is arguing with his friend Eugene. It should be big and shiny, says Eugene. No, says Tino. It should be sleek and simple. All the other animals are watching Tino and Eugene argue. They don't look very happy. <sighs> Sigh. Hi, Tino. Hi, Eugene. What's going on? We're putting on a show, explains Eugene. No, says Tino. It's a serious play. The show is tonight, but nothing is ready. Tino and Eugene can't agree on anything. This is going to be a disaster. Don't be so dramatic, Eugene. They won't get anything done at this rate. Perhaps Dougie can lend a hand. He's got his theatre badge. First, they need to decide on what sort of show to put on. Perhaps it's about people not getting on. But then getting on. A classic. That's genius. 
Dougie takes charge. There isn't much time to get everything ready for the show. Then there are sets to build, actors to get ready, and tickets to be sold. Final call! The audience takes their seats. And there's the audience. I can see penguins and a caterpillar, a baby bird, a worm, ducks and a horse, spider and an alien. Tino, Eugene and Dougie peep through the curtain. The theatre is full. It looks like we're sold out. The band begins to play and the curtain rises. It's showtime. Buggy the caterpillar sees Naughty Monkey and dances towards him. Naughty Monkey and Buggy are in love, but their families do not want them to be together. The squirrels quickly get re ready for the next scene. Moon! The stage turns dark. Naughty Monkey and Buggy sing a sad song. They wish their families could find a way to get along. The audience watch in silence. What will happen next? A new song begins. Suddenly, everyone starts to dance together, like one big happy family. We speak the same language of dance. The audience clap and cheer. Hooray! The show was, has been a roaring success. They love it. Thank you, squirrels, cried Tino and Eugene. We couldn't have done this without you. Bravo! Clap, 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 bravo! Well done, squirrels. You've earned your theatre badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The... End. Day 16. The Mixtape Badge. Dougie and the squirrels are up in the clubhouse attic, looking through boxes. They haven't found anything interesting yet. Just stuff, like this old cup. Wait a minute. Rolly has found something very interesting. Rody has found a cassette tape. It plays music. What is this, Dougie? Dougie gets out a cassette player and puts the tape inside. Then he pushes the button. Music starts to play. The cassette is one of Dougie's old mixtapes, a collection of his favourite songs. Bang, bang. Your mixtape doesn't sound very happy. Dougie nods proudly. He made it to remember the time when he was a serious musician. Maybe we can make a new, new mixtape. A happy one. What a great idea. Dougie can help. He has his mixtape badge. Mixtapes are easy to make. All you need is a cassette tape, a stereo and some music. First you choose the music you want. Then you play the song and you record it on your tape. The squirrels take turns choosing songs to record. Every song reminds them of something. The squirrels are learning that the best mixtapes are made for someone special. When they recorded their favourite songs to the tape, the squirrels decorate the cover. Now the mixtape is ready to give to Dougie. Happy puts Dougie's new mixtape into the cassette player. His songs play first. It reminds him of when they got their sprinkler badges. Next, tag song comes on. It reminds him of when they got their digging badges. Then it's Nori's song. It reminds her of when they got their go-karting badges. And then it's Betty's song. 
they were mine to have when they got their gravity badges. The music changes again. This time it's Rolly's turn. What does the song remind you of? Asked Happy. The chimney sweep badges. Everyone laughs. That day was so much fun. When the music ends, Dougie has a big smile on his face. He likes his new mixtape very much. It is full of so many happy memories. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your mixtape badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A Dougie hug. The end. Day 17. The Game Show Badge The squirrels are playing a board game. It's Betty's turn to move her counter. One, two, three, yes, she cries. I win. Betty always wins at board games. The squirrels have played every board game in their clubhouse. What should they do now? Dougie has a think. They have already played Who's You and Mining for Gold and The Taxman Cometh. That's it. What about Dougie's Woofity Woof game show? Ah, woof. Dougie can teach them how to play. He has his game show badge. It doesn't take long to get everything set up. The squirrels take their seats. It's time to play. Dougie is the game show host. He comes over to meet the teams. We are the squirrels. We are the acorn heads. The acorn heads will be tough to beat. They have won Dougie's Woofty Woof game show lots and lots of times. Hello. Ladybug is the game show's resident brain, which means that he it's his job to ask the questions. Round one is a quick fire round. The teams must press their buzzers and answer questions as fast as they can. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The round gets faster and faster. The team starts shouting out answers before Ladybug has a chance to ask the questions. At the end of the round, the acorn heads are winning by one point. Three to four. In whose house is this mouse is round two. The team study the clues. The owner of the house is clearly a badge guy with a big appetite and he wears a uniform. It's Dougie's house. Correct. Each team now has four points. The score is tied. Round three is called the conveyor belt of confusion. The teams have to remember every object that goes past on the conveyor belt. Crown, teddy, watering can. It's not easy to remember so many things. By the end of the round, the acorn heads have taken the lead. Seven to nine. Who wants to be a winner is round four. King Tiger steps up for the acorn heads. First question, what colour is a strawberry? Psst, red, declares King Tiger. That's not fair. Toucan has given him the answers. Fine, says King Tiger. I can do this myself. For the next question, King Tiger uses his buzzer buddy option to call Toucan. He gets lots of points for his team. Hello? Next, Dougie asks the squirrels to choose a team member to play round five. It's called Mega Mind. Well, I do know everything, so there is only one person for the job. Rody thinks it's for him. He answers potatoes for every question and gets them all right. The, the scores are even, so it's time for a tiebreaker. Dougie asks the players to guess the mystery object. 
The mystery object looks a lot like a potato. Rolly answers, it's a bobble-headed wavy bug. Rolly is correct. The squirrels have won. Now they can choose a prize. The badge! Well done, squirrel, squirrels. You've earned your game show badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 18. The future badge. It's a new day at Squirrel Club. Dougie is busy checking the shelves for supplies. He wants to make sure he has everything he might need in the future. What's the future, Dougie? The future is something that happens later on from now, or even years later. What? Day 18. The Future Badge. It's a new day at Squirrel Club. Dougie is busy checking the shelves for supplies. He wants to make sure he has everything he might need in the future. What's the future, Dougie? The future is something that happens later on from now, or even years after. Wow! What will the future be like, Dougie? asked Nori. Will the chicken still be grumpy? Will Enid still be a cat? Will the clubhouse be in up in space? Good question, squirrels. Dougie has lots of ideas about the future might be like. He has his future badge. Ah, woof. In the future, our houses might look very different. And there could be new ways to get around. But Dougie will always be at the clubhouse, ready for the squirrel club. Dougie's future sounds very impressive. The squirrels try to imagine it. At Squirrel Club in the future, teddy bears are robots. And building blocks turn into towers all by themselves. And when you get thirsty, water floats onto your cup. It's all quite different. Future Doggy looks quite different too. Future Doggy takes the squirrels outside. They play a game called Future Ball. The squirrels whiz through the sky. Left, right, up, down. This is brilliant! The squirrels are having so much fun in the future, they want to try something else. How about future gardening, says Happy. What a good idea. The squirrels follow Dougie outside to the future garden. In the future garden, you can plant anything you like. Dougie presses a button and the computer screen appears. Happy touches the screen. I'll plant this and that and this and that. In the future garden, seeds grow very quickly. Gulp, pop. Happy's plant is ready. All that gardening has made the squirrels hungry. They want some future food. Dougie gives each squirrel a coloured bean. With a drop of water, each bean turns into a delicious plate of food. Pasta. Lemon pie. French toast. Guana and avocado tagine. Cheesy sausage fish trifle. What? After lunch, the squirrels are tired. Dougie presses a button and suddenly it's future nap time. The squirrels don't sleep for long. Future nap time is very efficient. The future makes me miss the good old days, sighs Happy. Perhaps it's time to go back to the present. Yay! Well done, squirrels. You've earned your future badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The 
end. Day 19, the comedy badge. It's another day at Squirrel Club, but the fun can't st start quite yet. Tag has fallen over. Are you all right, Tag? Ow, my knee! Poor Tag. The squirrels want to help him feel better again. We need medicine, says Betty. My mum says that laughter is the best medicine, says, Ta says Happy. Yes, cheer the squirrels. Let's make Tag laugh. Dougie knows all about making someone laugh. He has his comedy badge. Dougie will teach the squirrels about comedy. Ah, uh, woof, woof, woof. Comedy is about saying or doing funny things to make someone laugh. Dougie draws on his blackboard to show the squirrels how it works. The squirrels scratch their heads. Comedy sounds complicated. Dougie explains that comedy has been around for a very long time. In pictures, in words, on the stage and in the cinema. The squirrels still don't understand. I thought comedy was supposed to be funny. Dougie explains that not everyone finds the same things funny. I know what I find funny, says Betty. Dr Pluto's fun facts. Dr Pluto's book of fun facts is full of amazing facts about the world. Betty loves facts. Did you know that it's impossible to lick your own elbow? She asks. The squir squirrels give it a try. It really is impossible. This is fun, but I'm not laughing. Sometimes things can be fun, but not actually funny. Busy Bears is funny, shouts Roly. It's my favourite TV show. Roly tells the squirrels all about Busy Bears. But even that doesn't make Tag laugh. I'll tell you what's funny, cries Happy. My cousin Eric. Happy's cousin Eric is really tall. When he goes swimming, the water only comes up to his knees. Hmm, Tag still isn't laughing. Nora decides to try a joke. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a potato, she says. Mash potato. I don't get it. Do elephants like potatoes? My mum won't have them in the house, not even chips. Chips aren't potatoes. They're the wrong shape. Oh dear. The squirrels need some help. Nothing is making Tag laugh. What's funny, Dougie? Dougie jumps back in surprise and stumbles onto a pair of roller skates. And that's when something really funny happens. A woof! The skates roll Dougie all around the house. He blasts and rattles and bounces. Through the dressing up box and out of the door. It's the funniest thing the squirrels have ever seen. That's just like me, Tag laughs. I fall over all the time. <laughs> Tag's knee feels better, much better now. All that laughing did the trick. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your comedy badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 20. The detective badge. Dougie has made a delicious apple pie. Can we eat it? The pie is very hot. It needs to cool down before anyone can eat it. The squirrels decide to go and play as the pie cools down. While they're going, while they're gone, something mysterious happens. Where's the pie gone, Dougie? Dougie's delicious apple pie has disappeared. Maybe it fell into the garden. The squirrels check outside. The pie is not there. Oh, says Tag. It didn't fall into the garden. Betty takes a closer look. 
Hang on, she cries. Where did this tiny ladder come from? The tiny ladder could be a clue. Excellent detective work, Betty. Ah, uh, woof. A detective is someone who finds lots of clues and puts them all together to solve a mystery. Dougie knows all about finding clues and solving mysteries. He has his detective badge. If the squirrels can find enough clues, they can solve the mystery of the missing pie. It's time to get detecting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. They're all looking for clues. I found another clue, shouts Happy. The squirrels rush over. Happy has spotted tiny footprints on the ground. Dougie and the squirrels follow the tiny footprints until they stop. They find a hyena slurping a smoothie. Excuse me, sir, says Tag. Have you seen a apple pie? Hyena hasn't seen an apple pie, but he has seen a spaceship. What did it look like? asked Betty. It was round and golden brown. Betty quickly draws a picture in her detective notebook. Is this what you saw? It sure was, says the hyena, and it smelled delicious. He points to a building with a big red door. It went that away. Dougie presses the button and the door opens wide. Wow. Finding clues is very exciting. Inside, there are lots of beeping machines and flashing lights. Look, there's our pie. We found it, cheer the squirrels. Stop, shouts a cross voice. This is a restricted area. A troop of angry ants appear. Step away from the UFO. What's a UFO, asks the squirrels. An unidentified fruity object, says the ant in charge. That's not a UFO, replies the squirrels. That's our pie. How did you get it? The ant in charge explains. This morning, the ant spotted a suspicious object. They wanted to find out what it was. So they rushed it back to their headquarters for further investigation. The squirrels have solved the mystery of the missing pie. The ants took it. The ants are confused. They still think they have found a UFO. How can we show them that it's a pie, wonders Happy. Let's eat it, says Roly. Soon, everybody is munching and crunching on Dougie's apple pie. The ants in charge make an announcement. It is a pie, and it tastes scrumptious. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your detective badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A Dougie hug. The end. Day 21. The Honey Badge. Dougie is busy in the kitchen today. He's making pancakes. There's a pancake for everyone at Squirrel Club. Mmm, delicious. Dougie gets out the pancake toppings, fruit and honey. Wait a minute. Uh, woof? There's no honey left. Where's the honey, Dougie? No need to worry, squirrels. Dougie knows where to get some more. He's got his honey badge. Dougie and the squirrels go outside. Where does honey come from, Dougie? asks Tag. Woof, says Dougie. The bees. Wow! From flower to flower to flower flies the buzzy honeybee, collecting up the nectar just as busy as can be. She takes the nectar to the hive where little worker bees make it into honey so the queen can have her tea. Dougie knocks on the beehive. This is where the bees make honey. A little worker bee comes out. 
Can we have some honey, please? Sorry, squirrels, says the worker bee. We're waiting for the honey bee to deliver the nectar. The worker bee is worried. If the honey bees don't come soon, the queen won't have any honey for her afternoon tea. What's that noise? The squirrels can hear buzzing nearby. It's the honeybees flying in their honey planes. Nectar Squadron, are you receiving me? Prepare for landing. Negative ground control, says Captain Bumble. The runway is blocked. The honeybees can't land. But the queen needs her nectar now. What will the bees do? A brave honeybee tries to find a way to land. He zooms down and swerves out of danger just in time. It's a mess down there. Oh no, Betty cries. It's our toys. They're blocking the runway. It's time for Operation Tidy Up. The squirrels get to work. Almost done. The runway is clear for landing now. The honeybees try to land their planes again. This time the squirrels are there to guide them in. Wind, good. Cooey, over here. One by one, the honeybees safely come to land. Yay. The honeybees unload their cargo. The squirrels watch as the nectar is pumped into the hive. Now the little worker bees can start making honey again. And they're just in time for tea. Dear squirrels, thank you for bringing our squadron safely home. The queen presents Doggy with a gift. It's some honey from the beehive. The squirrels jump for joy. They can have their honey with their pancakes. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your honey badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug the end. Day 22, the submarine badge. Today, the squirrels are going on a trip. They're off to see Betty's dad. Dougie takes the squirrels down to the seaside. They wait a little while, then pop. A big orange submarine comes out of the water. Betty's dad appears from inside the submarine. Hello, squirrels, he says. Are you ready for an underwater adventure? Dougie gives Betty's dad a special submarine salute. Woof woof! Dougie knows all about life under the sea. He's got his submarine badge. The squirrels climb aboard. They can't wait to go on a submarine trip. All present and correct, says Betty's dad, closing the hatch. Down we go! Betty's dad takes the squirrels on a tour of the submarine. These are all the instruments that make the submarine work, he explains. Oh... Squirrels, have a look at this, says Betty's dad. He presses a button and a big window opens up in, at the front of the submarine. Wow! The beautiful ocean, cries Betty's dad. There's so much to see in the deep blue sea. Look, says Betty's dad, a giant sea stallion. Pickle my periscope, he gasps. Jitter jazz fish. And there, he cries, the crazy coral junction. Toot, toot, toot. Betty's dad could look at the ocean all day, but the squirrels are keen to explore the submarine. Betty and Nori look at the flashing lights on the control board. Oh, be careful with those buttons, says Betty's dad. Rolly has found the escape hatch. Don't hurt yourself, says Betty's dad. I'm not insured. 
Lovely to see you're showing an interest in the periscope tag, says Betty's dad. But this is quite fragile. Happy has found a machine that makes a funny beeping noise. Beep, beep, beep. That's the sonar, Betty's dad explains. It makes lots of noise when something is close to the submarine. Beep, 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 beep. Suddenly, the beeping gets really fast. Oh, says Betty's dad. Something is really close. Shall we see what it is? Yes. Betty's dad and the squirrels rush to the front window. It's a school of fish. The fish are very pleased to meet the squirrels. We're on a school outing. This is our teacher, Mr. Guppy. The squirrels and the fish make funny faces at each other through the window. Ha 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 ha. It's lovely that you're all made friends, Betty's says Betty's dad. But, but maybe we should head back. The submarine slowly turns round in the water. Bye! Bye! The submarine returns to the surface. Betty's dad opens the hatch and Dougie and the squirrels climb out. What a super submarine trip. Thanks, Betty's dad. Thanks, dad. Betty's dad gives a weary wave. It's tiring work driving a submarine. You're welcome, squirrels. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your submarine badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Dougie hug. The end. Day 23. The snowman badge. It's a snowy day and the squirrels are very excited. Snow is everywhere. Everything is covered in white snow. The clubhouse, the trees, even the playground. But the playground isn't quite the same on a snowy day. The swing won't swing properly. Thud. No one can stay on the roundabout. Oof! And the slide is blocked by snow. Oh dear. The snow has made everything wet and cold and slippery. What can we do in the snow? Dougie picks up a pile of snow and shapes it in his paws. Look at that. Dougie has made a snow bone. The squirrels can't think of anything to make, but Dougie can. He has his snowman badge. Dougie can show the squirrels how to make a snowman. What a brilliant idea. Let's do it. But how? Every snowman starts as a small ball of snow. If you roll the ball along in the snow, it gets bigger. Now the ball is the snowman's body. Wow. He hasn't got a head, says Betty. I'll make one, says Tag. Here you, here you are, Dougie. Dougie adds the snowman's head to his body. Good work, squirrels. The snowman is nearly ready. He just needs some sweets for eyes, a carrot for a nose, and a hat to keep him warm. The snowman is finished. Doesn't he look great? Yay! Suddenly, the squirrels hear some laughing. It's the penguins. Call that a snowman, says one penguin. More like a snow blob. How rude. It's very hard to build a snowman. I bet you can make one. That sounds like a challenge, cry the penguins. One perfect snowman coming up. Now that's a snowman. That's pretty good, admits Tag. 
The squirrels and the penguins build more snow creations. They get bigger and bigger. I've made a snow slug, a snow bird, a snow chipmunk, a snow pig, a snow cone, a snow snake. The snow creations pile up higher and higher until no more, beg the penguins. We're too tired. So are we, say the squirrels. Uh, how are we going to get down? It's a bone, an elephant, a chicken, a snowman, a tank, a frog, an octopus, a balloon, a boat, an ice cream, a tree, a pig, a whale, a ball, a snake, a bus, a dog, a cat, a hat, and a dinosaur. Wowzers. The penguins know exactly how to get down. All you have to do is slide. The squirrels and the penguins slip and slide all the way down to the clubhouse. Whee! Dougie is the last one down. That was the best slide ever. Woof. It's time for the penguins to go. They have some fish to catch. Toodle pip. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your snowman badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. Doggy hug. The end. Day 24. The tinsel badge. Dougie is busy wrapping Christmas presents and the squirrels want to help. Can we put the presents under the tree? What a good idea. There's a present for Enid the cat and presents for all the other animals too. The squirrels carry the presents over to the tr Christmas tree. Oh, the Christmas tree isn't looking very Christmassy. It needs to be decorated. Dougie knows exactly what to do. He's got his tinsel badge. Dougie climbs up to the attic and fetches a big box. The box is full of shiny things the squirrels can use to decorate the Christmas tree. What shall we put on first? Everything. Rody starts throwing tinsel and bobbles at the Christmas tree. Decorate, decorate, decorate. That's not quite how you decorate a tree. You have to put the decorations on carefully. Dougie shows the squirrels how. Now they understand. Ah, woof. Dougie puts on some jolly Christmas music. Then it's time to decorate the tree carefully. The tree is nearly finished, but what's missing? Lights. Dougie has lots and lots and lots of fairy lights. The squirrels hang them all over the clubhouse. Even Enid gets decorated. Meow. Now there's only one thing left to do. Turn on the lights. Ting! Perhaps that's a bit too bright. Dougie turns the lights down. That's better. But where's Enid? Maybe she didn't like being decorated. Roly has an idea. Let's give Enid her present. The squirrels decide to give all the animals their presents. Merry Christmas, chickens. Merry Christmas, frog. Merry Christmas, naughty monkey. Merry Christmas, rabbit. Merry Christmas, henny. Soon, everyone has their presents, except Enid. Where could she be? The squirrels head to the clubhouse. There she is. Enid was inside all along. Here's your Christmas present, Enid. Purr. 
the squirrels give Enid a cosy new cat bed. Enid loves her present. Merry Christmas, Enid. Merry Christmas, everybody. Well done, squirrels. You've earned your tinsel badges. Now there's just time for one last thing before the squirrels go home. A doggy hug. The end. Well, that was fun. That was a lot of Hey Duggy books. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Do come back so we can read more books together. Please like and subscribe. Bye.